So for this video, I'm going to compare straightening the wire with a polishing cloth and with this new artistic wire straightening tool. So I'm just going to use my 18 gauge wire. I'm going to cut a piece like not super long, but you'll see it's kind of crinkled at the end of the roll. I did another tutorial before uh, using a thicker copper wire where I use this tool and it worked quite well. So basically what you're going to do is take the wire and you are going to just stick it like this in the tool and close it up. See, you just close it up in there and hold it closed. And then to, to pull the wire through, it's better to grip it with the tools. And so you're just going to hold it like that, hold it shut and just pull it through here. You could do it a couple of times if your wire is very uh, crinkled. You could turn it around so you get both ends done. And there you go. It's nice and smooth. Now we'll try it with the polishing cloth. So we'll cut another piece. This is how I've always done it. My husband has his own funny technique. I'll slip in a little video clip of him uh, rubbing the wire on our dining room table. So now we're going to get the polishing cloth. If it's dirty, the, the wire, you use the chemical side to, to wipe it first because that you know, puts a chemical on it that cleans it up. And then this is the polishing side, the yellow side. So you're just going to go ahead and do that. And what you see what you have to do if you're not using the polishing tool is you kind of bend it one way, bend it the other way, and that helps to straighten it out. You know, you kind of put force and twist your, your wrist at the same time. And then that straightens it out. So you'll see it actually heats up when you wipe it with the cloth because of the friction and I know when my husband pulled it against the dining room table he did it really fast and the wire super heated up as well. So, so you see it works quite well with the polishing cloth as long as you put a bit of pressure on the wire and sort of bend your wrist as you go and it just uh, smooths it out quite well. But if you want to get it done in half the time uh, this is a great tool. It uh, works super well just to straighten it out really quickly. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share pictures of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to hop on the mailing list, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.